Well, thank you so much for your company this morning. We are honoured now to welcome to the cafe the 2019 New Zealand of the Year. Mental health is rolling his eyes right now. Mental health advocate Mike King. I welcome. struggle with it. I just really struggle with it. But you why? Know? But why? Because it's such an honour, and obviously oh, no, unexpected. I, you know, I'm, I'm really appreciative of the title. But um, as Kiwis, you know, we're really good at celebrating other people's achievements. But when it comes to our own, we go, oh, well, I think Bear, Barry did most yeah, of the work. Bear's, you know, I'm just, here, so I'm just a one. guy at the front. So. But, but I'm also very mindful that I have to be a better role model because if, if I swallow um, my, you know, if I swallow the achievement and, and don't talk about it, what I'm saying to kids is when you achieve something, you're not allowed to celebrate, and we all must celebrate. Absolutely, and so we're celebrating you, so congratulations. Thank you. It's yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. I, I have to say that in my head now. Just yeah. say thank but you, say shut thank up. You. <laughs> thank you, man. Well, it's like women, we always say, when they say, oh, you look nice, you go, oh, yeah, well, I got this on sale. That's right. Dollars. You know, we can't <laughs> oh, see this you. is <laughs> nothing, you know, it's on sale at Kmart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what does the win mean for mental health in New Zealand? Um, it's a huge platform. Um, I had no idea of the the power that that title had until I got it. I'd watched other recipients of the of the New Zealander of the Year go about their normal life, but just before it happened, I watched Shane Young um, at the UFC fighter, and after his, he'd won his fight in Melbourne, he came out and said, "The fight's nothing. This is a platform, so I can get my message out." And I went, "Wow." Yeah. So I immediately went, okay, if I get this, I'm going to use it as a platform. And it's been huge. I mean, I was shocked on day one when Kiwi Bank said, we'll put this frame up and we'll donate a dollar to Gumboot Friday for everyone that puts it up. Yeah. And we were hoping, seriously, we were hoping for 20000 by tomorrow, right. uh, by today, sorry. We are hoping for 20000 What did you get? I've seen a lot. 530,000 people wow. donated. That's Isn't amazing. that amazing? Yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. So you went on this um, motorbike tour of the country, didn't yep. you, for the yeah. I Am Hope tour last year? And you yeah. stopped off at schools all along yes. the way and spoke to children. Yes. How was that? And and how did the kids, how did well, they react with you? Well, I've, I've been talking in schools now since 2013, spoken to over 220,000 kids. On that tour alone, I think we did about 29,000 kids. Wow. Look, I love it. You know, um, people say, you know, what you do must be really exhausting. You're at the sharp end, the pointy end of mental health, and it must be really draining. Um, how do I fill my cup? I go into schools and talk. Our kids are so phenomenal. And what I've discovered is if you take your mask off in front of kids and show your vulnerability, mm. they take their masks off and they show you how phenomenally uh, empathetic uh, how insightful, how intelligent they really are. Mm. What I've discovered is our kids dumb themselves down to talk to us. You know, just <laughs> yeah, as we risk manage their life by saying, oh, but if you climb that tree, you could fall off, yeah. stay in your bedroom, uh, who's driving your car to town, what are you doing? To they risk manage our lives mm. by giving us the answers they think we want to hear. Yes, you know, yes, they're very I clever. agree, they do, they are very clever. But if you give them an opportunity... That's right. To, to, and, ..and you give them the opportunity by showing them that you value their thoughts and opinions, what you get are incredible mm. human beings, and I'm just... I'm staggered every day talking to kids and, and watching the reactions of the teachers in the room. I've had teachers burst into tears wow. with some of the kids, uh, things kids said and, and they said, said to me, how did you do that? And I just went, I was just honest and I was just vulnerable and they went, oh, we're going to try that. You know? wow. And it's a conversation that is saving lives. That must be very humbling. Scumboot Friday. Oh, we are in it today. You've been at North Co College this morning. Yeah. Before North you Coat Intermediate. In North yeah. Coat Intermediate. Just get my gumboot off to show everyone. Oh, yes, you get oh, your <laughs> Um, so how can people get involved with Gumboot Friday today? So Gumboot Friday is about having fun first. Always about having fun first. I've noticed, uh, and you've noticed too, every mental health drive, there's a, it feels like there's emotional blackmail involved. Oh, yeah, I've got to give it because, you know, these people are broken and someone's got to help. So this is about having fun. We were thinking, what's a fun way to raise money? Um, for a cause, and the cause is obviously free counselling for our kids. So yeah. uh, have fun, put gumboots on. If you walk into a cafe this morning and you see a gumboot on the counter, put a cup of coffee yeah. into the, like a metaphorical cup. Yeah, Don't actually put a cup of coffee. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
just just put a dollar in, in, in the gum boot. And, and if you pass a Kiwi Bank or a Farmlands, anywhere you see any of those things, or give a little online. Yeah. Because the thing with too is that the funds that people donate, a hundred percent of that is going to the cause. You're not clipping anyone's ticket. No. Your own. So the idea behind this, the thing that really bothers me. So originally, and this is, I'll, I'll be truthful. Originally, we were going to raise money for the. It was suggested that we raise money for for my charity. Yeah. But uh, you know. I, I'm, whenever people ask me for money, I always go, how much is going to the course and how yeah, much are well, you taking? Yeah. So I didn't want to do that. So when we found out the most need that's out there is face-to-face -face counselling for kids. Why? Because if you've got a child and your child needs counselling and you need it funded, you've got to go to the doctor and the doctor has to diagnose your child mentally unwell. And there's a stigma attached to that. Huge too. stigma. Mm. So what, a, what, what and, and if you wanted to see a counsellor on your own, you've got to pay for it. So what we thought is, let's just cut out the middle man yeah. and, and provide people. So 100%. So we don't touch any of the money. None of the money comes to us. It all goes into the Gumboot Friday account at Kiwi Bank. And the only way that money can come out again is with an invoice from a health professional. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I love that. That's wonderful. So it's a good cause to donate to yeah. and a really well needed too. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah. I love you guys. Absolute Thank pleasure you. having Thank you here. You. Uh, make sure that you do give generously to Gumboot Friday, either via the Give a Little page, through online banking, or in person at a Kiwi Bank branch.